Well, in which case, I think we're going back to Crow's Perch. We're going to see if we can talk to this contract issuer, see what he knows about the Shrieker, see where we ha would have to go for that, and then hope for the best. Um, lightning strike. There has been no lightning. There has... Bro... There's fire in Crow's Perch. I'm very sorry about what happened before in regards to the raising stuff, but currently I need your speed. What happened? What happened? Uh, how do I get there as quickly as possible from the entrance? Uh, gotta make sure I don't take the wrong bridge because I think, yeah, this is the wrong bridge. This ain't good, is it? Uh, okay. Ooh. Roach? Okay. I'm sorry. Roach. Please, get out of the way. Thank you. Ah, hey. Why are you guys just standing here? Do something, perhaps. Get water. Anything. Okay, okay, okay. Where... Uh, the Baron's stables. Okay, so that means I indeed have to be all the way at the top. Yeah. If everyone grabs a bucket, we live near a moat. Get some water. Fortunately, I don't have any science that can help against this. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. Oh no. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. <sighs> okay. I'm going to see what I can see do. what I can do. Hurry now. Quick. No time to go and find the Baron. Oh, come on. I'm not sure if... Okay. Oh, can I... Blast that open. No, I can't, but I can climb up here. Okay, I'm not sure what the Baron is doing. Gotta hurry. Yeah. We gotta hurry indeed. Take what we can get. We're... Uh, okay, do I break that? Yes, we do. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I don't see you. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Can't get out. Roof's collapsed. Good work. Yeah, good work. Where is this door? There. Okay. If we blast this open, possibly. Let everything out. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? What? I'm s Come on. They really? Closer, didn't they? Can I have to punch you? You started this, pal. You started this. Oh, you're bloody drunk. Time for you to sober up. We need to talk.
Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. Oh, is it? She always knew how to spark my ire. So you never hit your daughter? Really? Never? Even in your drunken stupors where you can't even remember stuff? Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Okay, so... Anna, how'd she get you angry? Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. <sighs> okay, so you knew they ran away. Not a case of a monster or anything, no kidnapping. You knew they ran away all this time. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? At least an honest one. Okay, how did they flee? What happened? Then They didn't run away, you drove them out. Where there are multiple people fighting, there are multiple people at blame. So even though she might have been pushing your buttons, at the same time, you drove them out as well. Do I really want to tell that to him right now? Okay. Answers. How did they flee? What happens? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Uh, and Tamara witnessed all of this? As a kid? Tamara present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. So what about the signs of fighting in the room? The candlestick, the hole in the wall, the painting covering it up? Signs of a fight in the room? Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. 
We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. So not exactly the way I thought that things went. Like I thought that you were the one making the hole in the wall, fighting with the candlestick, but that was just your wife. So, you came to, you were alone, what happened next? What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. That was the night. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Well, at least you've accepted that and you're not denying it. Must have been a terrible sight. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I feel your pain. I mean, you may be responsible for this all, but even so... I'm sorry. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Uh, do you want the details? Because it's pretty horrible. You might want the details. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. For that I'm going to need your help. I haven't decided what I'll do. I have decided. Where did you bury the fetus? Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Uh. Okay. 
we can do this at any point in time. I think right now it might be best if we all just calm down, take a little bit of rest, and then we can solve this issue later, okay? Just to clear our heads a little bit, because a lot just happened. Need to tend to something first. Be quick. And me, what am I to do in the meantime? Get sober. Sober up. Because after all that... Yeah... Definitely not the best. Well, well, well... Certainly did not go the way I had expected things. I merely wanted to come here, speak to the contract person regarding the Shrieker, and just... Get out of my sight. Sure, sure, I'll get out of your sight after I help people everywhere here. Uh, do I still have my torch equipped? Yes, I have my torch equipped. Oh, it's drizzly. oh it certainly is. You're working on repairs already? Can I get through here? Hello? For some reason I can't get through there. Well, upwards we go in that case. Just making sure I didn't miss anything in the panic. I'm sure I got stuff from this chest, but... I'm not even sure if I saved the stable hand. Like you said, the door was jammed. And I unlocked a door, but... I hope I did the right thing. There are guards everywhere. Are you the stable hand? Just an old peasant spitting about. Yeah. Well, at least the horses are safe. But I don't know what happened to the stable hand. Like, I did not see any other door. He said the door was blocked. I hope we saved him. Really hope we did. Well, I think for now it's time to get back on track on what we were doing, what we were trying to do, figure out where this shrieker person is. Because he was around that direction. Uh. Got eyes like a cat. And just get <laughs> calm down a bit because oh. Boy, a lot really just happened. So the person we're looking for is supposedly right here. Greetings, Chet. Greetings. Yeah? I heard about this contract for the Shrieker. Heard you have a problem. A monster you call a Shrieker. Aye. Prowls about it does. Snatches cows and goats mostly. But it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well, he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Let me guess, he died? <clears throat> Took a hatchet. Laid an ambush for the shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Gut stretched o'er the crown of a tree like gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put him in a grave. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, rewards too small. I don't even know what the reward is. But we can haggle. I mean, with the money of the Baron, perhaps. I know times are tough, but I'll need you to cough up a bit more coin. Oh, that's a lot of coin. Okay. You know what? Let's do 165. 30 extra, yeah, or 175, let's see, would you accept that? Ye seek a lot, a few crowns too dear. Okay, okay, well we can work with that, how about we lower it to 165 in that case, the original plan. I suppose I can add that, ye are risking your neck for us. It's only 30 crowns, but sure, I'll take the job. High time a professional took a look at this shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? 
Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. Oh, good, good. But you might find the lad art to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. Uh, understandable. Where'll I find him? At me homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. So, right here? Outside? Yep. Well, I'll see if I can have a talk with him, and if things don't work out, well, there always be Axie. Kid, are you Simcoe? Can we talk? Let me be. Calm down, I just wanna... Go, I said. How about this? I want to avenge your father. The beast that killed him? I'm here to kill it. I want to avenge your father, but to do that I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster. But huge. With a lizard's tail. I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Ran to see what you were on about. There were Dad, in the bushes. A hole through his belly. And he were moaning, screaming. I wanted to help, but how could I? How? You couldn't. Just calm down. Shush now, calm. 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 Take care, kid. It's a little bit of magic, but it helps. All right, so rooster with his lizard's tail. I'm not too familiar with monsters, but basilisk. Honestly, not too sure. Anyway, uh, what do we possibly know? Like investigate the monster attack using your witcher senses, but that would also bring us right into the hands of the Shrieker, possibly. Do we have any possible information in the bestiary? We've got the information on botchlings. Saying a botchlings ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Lambert, witcher of the wolf school. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures of which you will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus. The unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. Yuck. So, Cursed Oil and Axie. Interesting to know, but regarding the Shrieker, no information. So where would we need to be for it? Right over here. Well, I guess we can take a quick look. Shouldn't hurt. Or so I would hope. Um, excuse me? What are you talking about? Drawing my weapon? Ron Vit of the Small Marsh? Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Oh, you don't want to do that, pal. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ron Vit of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor. Made Bilbury fairest of all maids I know by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now draw your sword post haste, for I've knights in hand left after you. Oh, you've just begun. You might want to rethink this. Why do you want to fight me? Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, uh, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilbury's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! 
I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. Do you have a death sent? You. You are. You're an idiot. You know what? You're going to cause issues. I'm very sorry, but you start this. Oh, you yield? Smart choice. Yes. Luck stood with you. A luck, sure. The next time we meet. There be no next time. Next time I will kill you. Honestly, just get out of my sight. Go back to mate Billberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. I will whoop your ass. No clue what that was about, but... Sure. Fine. Absolutely fine. Well, onwards to what we were working with. Finding the site of the Shrieker. So, it should be right around here. Uh, let's see what we can find in regards to possible information. Possible corpses. Dead Muscles dog. kicked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Hmm. So what are we dealing with? Big paws, that's for sure. Tracks are irregular here. Monster must have started staggering. Was wounded most likely. Hmm. That's positive. Monster's wounded. We might be able to deal with it. Blood. Monster blood. Is it nearby? Is it in the water? Where did it flee off to? Oh, and I dislike the weather. Okay, let's see what we've got. Abandoned huts right over the air, perhaps hiding place. B. It's most likely there, isn't it? What exactly is this shrieker? We still don't know what it is, and thus I've got no clue how to fight whatever it is. But it's most certainly leading here. Maybe not in the hut as I had expected, but... Tracks lead to the cave. A cockatrice. A cockatrice could work. Bestiary entry added shrieker. Interested. Draconid. Cockatrices. Had me sell eight hivers, five of them milchers. Then this cockatrice sprung up nearby, and now all I got left is dried patties in an empty field. Jethro, peasant from Pindal. Foolish, superstitious, claimed cockatrices, like basilisks, can kill with their gaze alone. That is utter nonsense, however. A cockatrice's gaze being no more dangerous than that of an angry goose. One should instead watch out for its sharp beak and long tail, which it can whip to murderous effects. I do have grape shot bombs, I don't have draconid oil, I do have art obviously, but the Shrieker. The monster tormenting the residents of Crow's Perch turned out to be a particularly nasty cockatrice. Garrett was not surprised the Baron's men had been unable to stop it. They could not possibly withstand the surgical precision of its strikes which slice open arteries and provoke an outpouring of blood only the Swallow Potion could hope to stop. Neither did they know to force it to the ground with a crossbow, a bomb or a sign, and then evade its charge by rolling under the monster's outstretched wings. Very, very helpful information. I just hope it's enough for me. So what about this hut in this case? Is there anything of possible interest here? Like, I would have expected the beast to be right over here. But 
seems to not be the case. Is that nothing at all here? Like, the burnt runes. Can I climb? Are these the burnt runes or? There'd be loot. Enhanced Griffin Trousers. But again, the problem, I don't even have normal Griffin Trousers. So how am I supposed to do anything with that? And other than that, there'd be nothing else here, I think. Yeah, that's too high for me. Huh. Well, now the question, am I ready to fight the Shrieker? Do I have my bombs ready? I've got Devil's Puffball. I don't... What did I need? Grape shot. Do I... Do I have Grape shot bombs? I don't have Grape shot bombs. That shouldn't be a problem. Right. Uh, what about my alchemy? I would need Calcium Equim for it. Well, I certainly don't have that. Certainly don't have Enhanced Dancing Star Bombs. Hmm. I could make a Werewolf Decoction. Running, sprinting, and jumping out of combat does not use stamina. Uh, let's make that. So, in regards to all the other stuff, I have Swallow, I've got Tony Owl, I've got Thunder Potion. That should be good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's a wise idea to fight this beast. But... Winds howling. It's causing trouble. And it's probably going to cause me to end up dying. Oh boy. This is a mistake. It's, it's, it's not home. Sound is coming from above. It's, a, it's outside. Okay. I'm about to leave. Bomb should smoke it out, though. Yeah, problem is... I don't have a... Okay. I could use Damn it. that. It's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Gotta nab it before it gets away. Outside. Definitely outside. Those were all my bombs. Oh, there it is. There it is. Won't get away this time. Okay, okay, let's do this, let's do this. I mean, it kind of appears like a griffin that we fought. So, with a bit of luck, with my crossbow at the ready. Okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. And Quen up. Okay. You indeed seem very similar. Very similar. To. The Griffin. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The only problem being. I. Oh. I need Quinn up. That's for sure. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on. Here we go. That's it. One by one. Slowly. I could also use art for this. Oh, bleeding. The beast attack has left you bleeding. Fun. The bleeding will last for some time and cause a steady loss of vitality. If you have to swallow potion or some food, you can consume them to temporarily speed up your vitality regeneration and counteract the bleeding. You can also cast a quencher to immediately stop any vitality depleting effects. That's useful. There are various other effects like bleeding which can be applied to you in game. All currently applicable effects are shown below your vitality bar and in the quick access menu. Okay, cool, cool. Use Quen, stop the bleeding. Everything is fine, right? Okay. Use the crossbow bolt. There we go, there we go. Slow and steady. I so wish I had to go. Oh, that's art. I don't want to use art. Definitely don't want to use art. Okay, come on, come on. Wait for Quen, wait for Quen. There we go. And slowly strike this monstrosity 
There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. No, you don't. No, you don't. Come on. Oh, how I wish I had the proper oils for this. But this is working as of right now, as long as I avoid those strikes. Here we go, here we go. No problem, no problem. Problem. Come on. Sort of. Here we go, here we go. No, e no you don't. Come on, no, no jumping on top of me, no, no jumping on top of me. There we go, there we go. And charge, nearly gone. That is the Shrieker down. Well, certainly went easier than expected. The bleeding was a surprise a little bit, although we did read about it, but even so, that is you done. Monster Carapace, Cocktree's Stomach, fun. Cocktree's Egg, Mutagen, Dwarven Axe, Relic, and a Cocktree's Trophy. Skull, Smoking Pipe, I'll take it all. Well, Roach, you've got a new trophy. What kind of trophy, though? Is it any good and... Requires a level 11. I'm not going to use that. Like, okay, sure, it would be better than what I got, obviously, but why then? Uh, we currently have got this Cockatrice trophy. 10% chance to dismember. I don't need that. That's the same as the Griffin trophy. I'm just sticking to my Noon Rave stuff. Much better. Thank you. And other than that, do we have anything else that is of use? Uh, not really. It's the talisman and such and the silver monocle, but... No, I think we're good. I think we're good. So, let's bring the people of Crow's Perch the good news. See if we can find our way back. And everyone will be happy. Uh, not yet, though. I want... Sorry, Roach. I want to take... Um, that is... Did it have a mate? Um... Okay... Not entirely sure what I'm hearing. But I'm hearing something, and I'm not sure what exactly. Can I climb this? I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, what is this? Oh, fast travel. Uh, no thanks. Although, burnt runes, what does it say about that? Uh, one of the many structures in the area which did not survive the onslaught of war. And apparently they're still burning. Yeah, I'm going to take a quick look inside of the cave. One last check. But other than that, not I sure what I'm hearing. Oh. Hi. Uh, not I sure what's going on here, but looks fancy. Can I do anything with this? No. Igni, perhaps? No. Okay, it looks pretty, but not entirely sure if it's useful to me in any way. Just a part of the cave. Anything else except for bones? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. The corpses still have a few florets on them. I guess that's something. But other than that... Uh, nope. I don't think we've got anything remaining. Well, in which case, onwards, Roach. The Crow's Perch. Sir, I bring you... Good news. Greetings. Yeah? 
the Shrieker? Uh, it turned out to be a cockatrice, and yeah. Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank you, Master Witcher. Your reward ain't much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Always. Uh, but the kid. Kid is fatherless right now. Uh, I hate being a good person. I can use the money, absolutely, for Gwent cards, for pleasure. But... Give that kid a future. Keep the coin. You took in an orphan. Need it more than I do. And they call witches unfeeling. Inhuman. Well, I thank ye. From the bottom of my heart. Just take good care of him. Because merely the fact that you took him in, that already is quite a big thing. Uh, no. If the goat stopped running around, is the kid still around? Timko? What? I have got good news. Your father's been avenged. Thought you might want to know. I killed the Shrieker. Thank you, Master Witcher. <sighs> it feels good to do the right thing. Sure, it might have meant that I got absolutely nothing out of this adventure. Like, yeah, boy, I really need more money. But, hey, it's at least something. And I got a nice trophy out of it. That can help me out quite nicely. I can sell it maybe if I want. I can sell trophies. Would I want to sell trophies? Not entirely sure. Anyway. I'd say that be a job well done. Contract Shrieker. It turned out a cockatrice had left the tracks. As this beast's name implies, it looks something like a rooster crossed with a basilisk and, according to Geralt, tastes a bit like chicken. The cockatrice slain, Geralt took a trophy from its corpse and went to collect his well-deserved rewards, which he then ended up donating for to the future. Of a kid. Yeah. You might want to dry up a little bit inside, perhaps. Anyway, that is a job well done. Uh, where does that leave us next? I could go along with the family matters. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that instantly right now. Like, it's brilliant, but at the same time, there's something in the back of my mind in regards to this whole. Gwent felon players. I need to defeat the Baron. I... I don't know if there are cases of me being able to miss possible Gwent cards. I don't know if I can fail quests. I think I can, but I have a feeling that I don't want to go too far just yet with the family malice. Just in case something bad happens when we try to do something with the Lubberkin or the Botchling or whatever. So, for the time being... Uh, I think I want to see if I can find this witch. So to the village of Midcops we go, which is all the way over here. So I'd say if we go all the way to the south, see what villages we're dealing with over here. Perhaps see what this bridge is right here. We can slowly work our way towards the village of Midcops. Ah, there'd be a notice board there too. So... Also one over here. This should be enough to do. So, to mid cops, we go. To accept a nice reward for a job well done, or to give it all away in order to do what feels like the right thing. When funds are low, that choice becomes more difficult. But, in the end, there is nothing that a bit of looting can't solve. 